PTE Study Cast. What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Not Gratitude Today. This is going to be a little bit of a host swap today. I am going to host something that normally Jimmy McKay is hosting, and that's the NPTE study cast. And I'm going to take over for today and share with you guys what the heck I've been studying. You know, I'm studying for boards right now, right? I'm taking them in July. And so Jimmy and I were on a call this morning and he's like, why don't you just take five or 10 minutes and share what you're studying? And then it's great for me too, because I'm teaching what I'm learning and then it will retain better more long-term retention. So here we go. Today, we're going to talk about burns and we're going to talk about the different degrees, the different kinds of burns. And I'm going to give you guys two example questions. And I actually want to start with these two example questions. So I'm going to share my screen for those of you who are not uh, tuning in live to the video. You can come and see the video in the Student Physical Therapist Network group on Facebook. So let me go here, share my screen. And I want to share this just to have an outline of what the heck are the kind of burns. Actually, let's rewind here. Let's go to these practice questions and then I'll show the kinds of burns. Okay. So first I want you guys, if you are not driving, if you are not working out, if you are doing something where you can write this down, I want you to write this down right now. So the question is, this is like a pre-test question. See where your, your knowledge is at right now to get you pre-framed for what I'm about to tell you. So question number one, Bobbio is a 22 year old male who was in a house fire last week. He has 40% of his body burned with moist red and some white patches throughout the burn. It is pain. It is painful to the touch. What degree of burn does Bobbio have? And if you guys are on live, put down below, what degree of burn does Bobbio have? Okay. So option a superficial burn. Option B, superficial partial thickness burn. Option C, deep partial thickness. Or option D, full thickness. So A is superficial, B is superficial partial, C is deep partial, and D is full thickness. What kind of burn does Bobbio have if it is moist, red, and some white patches, and it is painful to the touch? All right. I want you guys to put that down below. We'll get back to this question at the end after I go through the different types of burns. And then the second question before we get into the different types of burns is which of the following will Bobbio likely present with? And this is kind of a two part, right? So I'll tell you the answers to the first one at the end, and that will kind of give you a clue uh, for number two. But honestly, it doesn't matter a lot what the answer for number one is. Like the answer for number two is is still going to be the same. So which of the following will Bobbio likely present with? A, hypokalemia. B, decreased body temperature. C, decreased metabolism. Or D, decreased blood pressure. So I just want you guys to think about those if you are not driving or working out. And if you're doing, you know, if you're somewhere where you can write this down, I want you to write down what you think the answers to those two questions are. And then keep listening after this. All right. So I'm going to show you this, uh, graph here. This is a table. Actually, it is from the emergency medicine cases.com slash burn inhalation injuries. Um, this is just a nice table that I thought would be helpful. I should have warned you guys. There are some gross pictures here, but it's super, super important to be able to look at and understand the different kinds of burns. So the first degree burn This is the superficial thickness burn that you guys see here, right? That's like a sunburn, okay? This is um, usually dry, it is usually red, and it's usually painful, and it doesn't take super long to heal, right? You've had a sunburn before. It's probably gone in a couple of days. This, uh, This says seven to 14 days, but I would say more like two to five days. So I'm gonna stop sharing here so that... You don't have to look at that gross photo the whole time. (laughs) And so it's really about two to five days for healing for a superficial thickness burn. Okay. And if we go to partial thickness burns, this or superficial partial thickness burns, um, this is more going to be the epidermis and some of the dermis, right? So this is going to destroy 
the epidermis and some of the papillary glands, and you may see blisters. So if you've ever had a sunburn and it's more like some poisoning and then it blisters, that is now superficial partial thickness burn partial thickness burn. And this will take more like seven to 14 days to heal. All right. And then we go to deep partial thickness. So superficial partial thickness would be a second degree burn. The deep partial thickness is going to be um, also a second degree burn. And this is going to be the epidermis, papillary glands, and the reticular layer, which is normally like your sweat glands, right? Um, and it's going to be moist. It's going to be painful. It's going to be red and it actually can be a little white if it's really deep. And this healing time is going to be more like 21 to 35 days. So this is going to take a lot longer. Okay. And then your third degree burn, your full thickness burn, this gets down to the subcutaneous tissue. So you start to see some of the fat in there. You don't see the bones though. So it gets the nerves. So it's insensate, meaning the burn itself is no longer painful, but around the burn where the skin is, you know, intact is painful due to the swelling. Um, but inside the burn, there's no more nerves left when it's a full thickness burn It's destroyed though. So the patient doesn't feel the burn on in the center there. Um, and this is going to be dry. This is going to be firm. This is going to be leathery. Um, and you may see some uh, eschar. There's going to be swelling. Um, and the healing for this uh, is going to require a skin graft. So this is going to take a lot longer than your other kind of burns. And there is actually a fourth degree burn that I want to tell you guys about. This is the subdermal. So this is down to the bone and or the muscle. So this is past the subcutaneous. Uh, this is all the way down. And this, again, you're going to need a, like the, this person's going to need a skin graft. Um, and so this is the most severe burn. It's going to be probably depending on the cause of the burn. It might be like charred. It might be um, if it's a chemical burn, maybe like gray or brown. Um, and there's going to be swelling. So there will be pain related to the surrounding tissue as well. Even though now you've destroyed the nerves, there's also the subcutaneous tissue is gone. Um, so the patient still won't be able to feel it, uh, but you're going to have pain in the surrounding tissue again due to the swelling. So those are the four kinds of burns. So now if we go back to this question, and let me share my screen for those of you who can see me. If I go back to this question, so if Fabio, who is a 22-year-old male who was in a house fire last week, had 40% of his body burned and it's moist, it's red, and it has some white patches throughout the burn, and it is painful to touch, what degree of burn does Bobby have? So A, your option was superficial burn. It's not going to be a superficial burn because a superficial burn, um, that one would be dry. So if you think of a sunburn, it's dry, right? You have to put some aloe vera on that thing. It's, it's not moist. Okay. And so it's not superficial burn. Let's cross this one out. Um, if we look at, is it superficial partial thickness? Well, this one, you normally have some blisters. It is moist. It is red. It is painful. So I, we're, we're closer, but this one is more likely to have some like blisters or something else, something else going on with it. So I'm going to take both of these out. And is it deep partial thickness? So deep partial thickness, this is going to get all the way down past the epidermis, past papillary glands, past the reticular layer. Um, and it is moist. It is painful. It is red and it can be white, it can be white. So with some red and some white patches, this I'm thinking maybe it's this one. Uh, and then D full thickness burn. So this is painful to touch. So that tells me right away, it is not a full thickness burn. If it was a full thickness burn, it would not be painful to touch. Um, so that tells me immediately. And a full thickness burn would also be um, dry. So it's definitely not full thickness. So the answer for number one would be deep partial thickness burn. All right. And for number two, so which of the following will Bobbio likely present with 
Option A is hypokalemia. For those of you who don't remember what hypokalemia is, uh, you think about potassium, right? So this is low potassium. Um, and option two is decreased body temperature. Option C was decreased metabolism. And option D was decreased blood pressure. So let's go through these. So if you think about a burn, what do you know right away? If somebody has a major burn, so more than 30% of his body was burned. It said in question one, 40% of his body was burned. So he does have a major burn here. So the body is going to present with a lot of different physiological, physiological, physiological changes. He's going to have some increased metabolism um, and all of that because of the burn. And he might even go into burn shock. So I definitely know it's not C because after a burn, someone's going to have increased metabolism because it's trying to heal the tissue. Right. Um, and I know it's definitely not decreased body temperature because I just had a burn. So if you think about if your metabolism is increased, so is your body temperature. Right. And so it's not going to be B or C and for hypokalemia, this one is a little bit tricky. So after a major burn, that's more than 30% of the body burned. Um, that means that the cells are going to basically just like, there's going to be some cell lysis. And so um, the hyperkalemia occurs because the potassium is all in the cells, right? And when the cells like the skin that's been burned is no longer there and it's releasing all the potassium. Uh, so it's actually going to have increased potassium. It's going to be hyperkalemia because of the cell lysis that's happening. So it's not going to be A. So the final option is D, decreased blood pressure. And this is going to be the case because after a burn, what happens to the blood volume? The blood volume decreases after a burn and decreased blood volume is going to also decrease the blood pressure and it's going to also decrease the cardiac output. So final answer number two is D, decreased blood pressure following this major burn that Bobbio had in the house fire. And his burn was a deep partial thickness because it was moist, red, did have sensation. He, it is painful to touch and it had a few white patches in there as well. So hope that was helpful for you guys. I know this was a little bit of a different episode. I can't wait to do a few more of these and uh, go over some brief topics that I'm studying throughout the day and share it with all of you. And I'd love to hear from you guys. Did you get the questions right? Was this helpful for you? What topics do you want to hear next? I know for me, I always miss these burn and wound care topics because for me, at least it just wasn't as interesting through PT school. So I find myself in these practice exams, missing these questions all the time. And I know if I could just learn the burns and learn the wound care that I could get uh, a much better score on the practice exams and feel way better going into the NPTE in July. So that's where I'm at. I would love to hear from you guys. What was your biggest takeaway from this episode? And I will see you next time.